everyone. Welcome to Virtuous Vineyards. My name is Rebecca and this is Nancy. And this is the show that's going to address um, problems that tween and teenage girls face on a daily basis. And today we're going to talk about issues with self-confidence and self-worth. That's a big one. <laughs> it, it is a big one. And, and to be quite honest, when we discuss this topic, I had problems with self talking about self-confidence because I don't feel like I have a huge amount of it myself. How about you? Um, yeah, I think that's something that we all work on and we continuously work on probably for the rest of our lives. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so I was thinking about it and I was spending some time in prayer about it and I thought, how am I going to talk to girls about having self-confidence when at that age, their age I had, I don't think any, and I am still working on it today. So in prayer, it really came to me that, you know what? you don't so much know about self-confidence, but you know about self-worth. And we're gonna talk about that. And really they go hand in hand together. Um, I think a lot of us um, feel like if we've got self-confidence that we're being um, big headed or this, this false sense of confidence that we're actually more than what we are. And that's truly not what it is. Um, it's an understanding that as an individual, we have value and a purpose in this life. Um, and I think that if we, if we realize that, that we're you know, made in the um, image and likeness of God and we're put here for a purpose, I think that helps us understand um, that we are worth more than sometimes we give ourselves credit for, rather than um, comparing ourselves to someone who we feel like is confident or has those stronger abilities than maybe we have of ourselves and putting ourselves on a, um, a lower level than that person. So your self-worth is not necessarily thinking of the, the material things that you have in this life. You know, how many, um, how, how many jewelry things that you have, how many sh pair of shoes that you have, you know, do you have really nice clothes, you know, are they name brand, you know, those type of things. Even um, in the aspect of looking at, you know, your grades, um, your skill levels, you know, those type of things that are superficial or that are really not what um, you're really about and what the inner you is. Um, Self-worth is, is, is more um, than that. Um, it's about, you know, what God made you for and um, the purpose that he has for you. And um, ultimately, that purpose is to love, you know, to love him and to love one another. Um, and you can't begin to love um him or other people until you start loving yourself exactly that's, that's well said um and like you said the better that you understand your beliefs the stronger you're going to be in your self-confidence because we're all going to um, run into you know disappointments discouragements um criticisms and that's okay that's okay you can either let it drag you down or you can take it and make yourself better with it. Um, don't take things personally. Um, when your teachers say something to you or your parents about correcting you, don't feel like they're saying that you're a bad person or you're not significant enough. That's not it at all. Um, again, you've just gotta know that you were created by God and you should have confidence in that. And always remember that when you feel like you're you're not worth anything or nobody wants you around and there's no point of you even being here just think about this we know that jesus died on the cross to save all of us to save us all from our sins but did you know that if you were the only person he had to save he would have done it just for you and because of that you should have great comfort in knowing your self-worth that, that is very well said. So what we have to remember is that self-esteem is not an inflated sense of self-worth or a false confidence. It's based on beliefs of your sense of self and significance of who you are. It's an understanding that as an individual, we're of value and we have a purpose in life. I mean, ultimately, again, I mean, in order for you to fully love um, others, um, you have to begin to love yourself. And, and realize, 
you know, all of your flaws that you think are flaws, you know, those are actually things that, you know, God created <laughs> in you to make you unique. And you don't need tattoos or piercings or color your hair or do something unique or have yourself stand out physically because you already physically stand out in, in a beautiful way um, without having to add anything else to, to the way God has made you. And, you know, to feel confident in that is, is a beautiful thing and it will radiate. You know, inside and out when you have self-confidence, um, you know, and you don't have to brag about um, what you have or the skills that you have and the things that you can do because who you really are will be what is radiating out to everyone. That's perfectly said. Absolutely perfectly said. So that's it for our show today. If you found this information beneficial or know someone else who would, please subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.